Welcome back, everyone, to the second episode of our Honest Hearts Level 1 Challenge. And we're right here in the pass, which will lead to the DLC. And there's these people here to talk to, which you cannot harm in any way. Not any of them. Not even Ricky. So, despite Obsidian usually letting you kill every character, these people are an exception. Nor can you save them. Unfortunately, what happens ahead is scripted and... I didn't know that the first time I played this game. I tried everything to save them, but you can't. It's scripted. You, however, you can save him, unfortunately, by talking him out of going into Zion. But before I start anything, I'm gonna going to drop off everything that I picked up along the way. My attire, even uh, Chance's knife. I'm going to do this legit. And because my strength is very low, I, don't, I can only carry 70 pounds. So, well that's because of the Jay Sawyer mod, partly, but also I built my character to have very low strength. So I'm not going to be able to carry much regardless. But, as you can see, I'm naked, or, well, just about as naked as I can be short of installing one of those oxhorn mods to like what's it called the caliente body replacer or something i think that's for fallout 4 i don't think that well i don't know what new vegas has as far as nudity mods go i never looked into it i'm sure oxhorn is the one to ask about that but anyway we can we're going to talk to these people, and uh, they have a lot of interesting things to say. There, there's some great dialogue uh, checks, but, like I said, you can't kill them. You can't even knock them unconscious. So, yeah, if you want to criticize Obsidian for something, I guess that's something. Howdy. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Howdy. Howdy. Hey there. Yeah, these two don't have anything interesting to say. We'll start with this guy. He's like uh, Mr. Fantastic, I guess. He's kind of an idiot. And his Pip-Boy, uh, I guess it doesn't work, but I can see it lit up there. I don't know what that means. And he's got an SMG, which he claims is an 11 millimeter SMG, but it, it's just a 10 millimeter. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. So watch your ass around me. Yeah, the... Uh, despite having uh, good natured and uh, high intelligence and all that, I do not meet the... I don't think I'll, I'll be able to meet any of the checks, but come pretty close. Are you feeling all right? Yeah, Doc. I'm feeling great. Fuck you very much, asshole. You do anything around here besides talk too much? You want to know what I do, bud? Anything I fucking want. I'm one of a kind. I've been places, see? And done things. Lots of them. And when it's time to kill shit up, Hell yeah! I'm a fucking storm of death! Something or someone make the mistake of crossing Ricky? I'll fucking dead-eye him, her, or it. In fact, yeah, in fact, that's my nickname. Dead-Eye Ricky. That's my name. Dead-Eye, huh? How, how did you get that nickname? Uh, how you think? I shoot things in the eye. That's how good I am. Yeah, 
I'm that good. Why, uh, once I got jumped by three death jaws. Except, actually, it was four of them. Imagine that! But I didn't panic. Because... Because I never panic. What I did was become a storm of death. Shot every one of them monsters pop in the eye. Yeah, he says he killed four death jaws. But, uh... He dies pretty quick uh, when the ambush happens. Uh, death jaws. I've never heard of those. Just how green are you? Everybody heard of Death Jaws. You better hope I'm around if you run into one. Or there was the time one of them Steel Brotherhood assholes made the mistake of messing with me. Last mistake he ever made. Mm-hmm. You're saying that you killed a Brotherhood of Steel Paladin? What's it sound like I'm saying? If I was saying what you said I was saying, then yeah, I said it. I was walking along, mining my own, and up pops one of them brotherhoods. He yells, hand over that laser rifle, asshole. So I hand it over, just to make him think I'm scared. But really, I'm not. I never am. Before he knows what hit him, I draw my 11 millimeter machine gun, and bam, bam, right through the eye slit in his helmet. DOA. Uh, if, you, if you have the gun skill requirement, you can point out that there's no such thing as a 11 millimeter thing, but obviously I don't have the skill. So, I'm going to take this option anyway. What a shot. Whatever. When you're me, a dead eye, shots like that ain't nothing special. It's just what I do. Do you have any other special skills or abilities? Well, I grew up near Dayglow out west, so yeah, I grew a third nut that glows in the dark. <laughs> I see you're wearing a pit boy and vault suit. Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy and a vault suit. So what? Where'd you get the vault suit? Where the fuck you think? Vault 2-2. Two -two. That's where I grew up. Where is Vault 2-2 located? I can't tell you that. I have a sworn vow of secrecy. Or something like that. To all the people I left behind. You left people behind, huh? He, he might have been part of the, uh... Of one of those expeditions uh, hired by Dr. Hildern. I'm guessing that's how he got the suit. I don't know. He, he left people behind because he's a coward and nothing he says is true. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to be pushy. Yeah, so don't bring it up again. What do you use your Pip-Boy for? Sorry, the shit I do with it is so far over your head, be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind-blowing shit. It ain't just some bracelet. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Jed says it's got maps and shit like that. So that's how I'm gonna guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that already. Apparently he didn't notice that I'm wearing one also. Didn't you notice I'm wearing a Pip-Boy too? Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you got one. I think you need a stronger prescription on your glasses. Or maybe you need to take some Mentats or something. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do any of the checks that would need to be done to talk him down, so he's going to end up dead. I can't save him. But the world will be none the poorer. But I'm going to do these anyway. Uh, any chance you could show me some new ways to use my Pip-Boy? That chance! Like I got time to bring you up to speed. Fuck that! I guess two Pip-Boys is better than one anyway. 
Yeah, too bad one of them is worn by a total fucking idiot. <laughs> right, we know which one that is. Goodbye. Yeah, whatever. And this, uh, is the other person we can talk to. She, uh, actually carries her weight, unlike, uh, him. You looking to join this here caravan? Look a little wet behind the ears, you ask me. What are you doing here? Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Wait. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. Caliente. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. So you were the sheriff of Oxhorn's nudity mod? Tell me about that Caliente nudity mod. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the White Legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. So the 80s, uh, I don't think that they appear or are really mentioned again in this DLC, but I have read on uh, the, the wiki about uh, Van Buren, and they, they were supposed to be a writer gang, and uh, they wore, like, signs and stuff from Highway 80, where they were located around they were supposed to like uh, ride motorcycles and stuff it would have been really cool but it they just weren't included in New Vegas but that's how they got their name the 80s uh, so were the 80s a gang or a tribe what's the difference Raiders is Raiders bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls deputies and me gave pursuit Straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them, so we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. Uh, New Reno, that is a location in Fallout 2, and uh, I've read that uh, Chris Avalone wanted this game, Fallout New Vegas, to be Fallout New Reno, but uh, Fergus Urquhart made Josh Sawyer the project director instead of him, and Josh Sawyer made the game New Vegas instead of New Reno and that's part of the falling out that Chris Avalon had with the rest of Obsidian because he wanted it to be New Reno as the setting but obviously that's not what happened so what was it like to grow up in Chris Avalon's New Reno imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Town's run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor's off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. Tell me about so it. I got my ass Story out of, of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? So, what do you know about the White Legs? Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the White Legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. 
Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the White Legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. She talks about the desert rangers fell apart and were absorbed into the NCR. That's what is depicted in the statue at the Mojave outpost uh, down to the south. So apparently, you know, the NCR, they're having a hard time uh, keeping control on things, not just here in the Mojave, but further north and basically everywhere. The Legion do a better job, I guess, of keeping order, so that's the... If you want to say something positive about the Legion, you have to give them credit for that. Anyway, goodbye. Catch you another time, then. Alright, so now we can talk to Jed. Uh, and we could put our stuff in here, but I... I don't know, I just wanted to put it in the grave, I guess. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah, you look the type. Oh yeah, he's a, uh, he's some caravan, he's, he works for the caravan, uh, a caravan company. So he, you can play that caravan game with him, just like Ringo. Apparently it's a game that these caravan people, uh, invented, uh, and they play it, and it's named after whatever. And I, I, to this day, I don't know how to really know how to play it. That's one of the few achievements I don't have for the game. One of these days I'll get it though, but not today. Uh, well, I'm not, we're not. Let's talk to him first. Tell me more about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is twenty-five caps per day. Half up front, half on return. That's not a lot. You'll get a bonus if we make it in design. Plus another bonus if we reach New Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. 25 caps a day. That reminds me of that episode of The Simpsons where Bart busts his ass doing all that yard work and he gets paid like, what, what was it, like 50 cents or something? Yeah, I don't... I'm not doing this for the pay, I'm doing it because I'm a diplomat of the NCR and I'm on a very important mission. So who is Joshua Graham and why shouldn't I talk about him? Just don't. It makes the new Canaanites powerful uncomfortable and it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. The new Canaanites, I believe, uh, they're Mormons, but the game calls them new Canaanites, I guess for, I don't know, political correctness reasons or something. It's just like how uh, you have drugs like Jet or Psycho or whatever, instead of like meth or, you know, whatever, like, real-world counterpart there would be. Uh, so, tell me about Happy Trails Caravan Company. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown, up in the northern part of the NCR. We run some business through New Reno. They're on the Little Loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Oh, shoot. I, I'm two points short of this barter check. So you guys are totally rich, right? And, and if you're rich, why are you only paying 25 caps a day? We do all right. Don't you worry about us. Got enough in the kitty to pay you anyways. Wait. In the kitty? Why can't you get to Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway's too risky. 
NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. This guy, he keeps his pay in his kitty. I wonder what he means by that. Uh, anyway, what can you tell me about New Canaan? Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The New Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion, and they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyways. Yeah, the, they're the Mormons. And they're trying to convert them to their religion. Which I honestly can't say I approve of because the, the, the natives, they have their own religion and, uh, well, they're being, their, their culture and all that, it's being erased. But anyway, do you know anything about their religion? I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They Most take care of their types own, aren't. and they're damn fine marksmen, too. You don't know what happened to their mission? Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, happy trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Well, there is the old Mormon fort in uh, Vegas, which... The followers of the apocalypse have uh, taken over. Shoot. I understand this caravan is headed to Zion. What can you tell me about the area? Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there, but that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war. But we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Well, now you got two. And I have the one that actually works. I haven't been through Utah recently. What's the situation like? Well, it ain't good, i tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Yeah, I went through a bunch of those raiders just to get here. Uh, tell me about the Raiders. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy, jacked up on Kim's, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the 80s. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. Or on any run, if Obsidian doesn't get to make another fallout. Degenerate tribes. That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. The ones you really gotta watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. Warlords, how dangerous are they? Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. All right. Shoot! And, uh... I guess that's it. Unless I want to play Caravan, which I don't, so... Let's go. Are you now? You know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? 
You sure you're ready now? Yeah, I'm, I have nothing, and uh, that's kind of the point. But why the weight limit? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Hey man, I'm cool. I got a, a big backpack and everything. That's exactly what I'm worried about. We got us some passes tighter than a virgin on her wedding night up there. Last thing I need is some greenhorn getting stuck on a rock. Slowing the whole caravan down. Alright, well, he's gonna pay me 25 caps a day, which he keeps in his kitty. With a voice as deep as his, I didn't even think he had... A, well, it's none of my business. Anyway, I'm ready to go to Zion. You sure about that this time? We ain't coming back for a while. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. Well, you don't. And that took care of my dehydration, thankfully. Now, I don't have anything to start off with, but... The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, Folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Looks like Good Springs. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Mal Pace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Mal Pace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk, said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. He turned into a graham All cracker. this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. If he did, he must have been a synth or something. Oh, All my right, legs are people. gone. Been a long couple of weeks. I'm rooted. Here we are. I'm rooted to the Zion. ground. I know your feet hurt. Did Todd Howard tired, make this DLC? But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's Pip Boy over there. Enough lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Don't Sorry worry, we got Ricky. Reality, old Jed. He'll save the day. Fuck off, I'm come. busy. That's not a problem. Fuck off, I'm busy. Come on. Come on, Leave come me be. on. Busy. No time to waste. Leave me be. Busy. Fuck off, I'm busy. Shh. Hold on now. Ugh. God damn it. 
Howdy. I don't deserve this. My people don't even work. Why the fuck do you hire me? Okay, now I can put um Shut the hell up, Ricky. Might as well be waving at him. Stay low, people, stay low! Alright, I need to get moving. They're gonna start shooting at me now. Uh Ooh, tomahawks, that sounds like fun. But I don't have any combat ability, so Well this ain't gonna be of any use. This thing, uh DT five compared to I can use it as a disguise maybe. That lockpick, uh, maybe I might need that at some point. I don't know. It's not too far behind in terms of protection, but it's got the extra effects, so... Yeah, alright, that's... I need to get moving. I guess I need to get moving before everybody's dead because, uh, yeah. I wanted to loot the corpses, but maybe I'll just wait until I'll just loot one corpse and then and then run. Hold on now. Because this is a scripted event, and I'm pretty sure that they're all focused on Well, I can loot this, though. Okay, I don't want to kill anyone, but I need to get through here, so... Causes you to lose health. It's not good. Excellent. I can just noob tube my way out of here. I don't even Shut the hell up. Why the fuck you hide me? me? Now I don't want to kill you, but you guys aren't giving me any uh, options. <laughs> A diplomat of the NCR. Oh, 
Oh, I got a shovel. Two shovels, actually. What the hell is that about? Why were they, why were these guys carrying shovels? Oh well, I don't know. Anyway, the great thing about this grenade launcher is it's overpowered and I can do good with it even though I have no skill whatsoever. It's one of those white doing? legs. There's still white legs back there. Oh. Wait. You came from outside, didn't you? You mean you're not from a white From the civilized leg? lands. Wow. Joshua will want to hear about this. Well, it's a good thing you said something because I almost blasted you. And in fact, in my uh, very first time I played this, I did. And when you kill him, that screws up everything and you fail the main plot. At least, I mean, they don't... Obsidian doesn't let you kill the Happy Trails caravan people, but it, they do let you kill anybody else beyond that. Like Joshua Graham and whatever. But if you do that, then you screw everything up. So you probably don't want to do that. But you can. Anyway, who is this Joshua? Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, the dead horses are strong and safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. I guess that means just you now. Come, I can take you to him. All right, let's go. Good sists. We head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. While Fallow's Chalk is in your party, reaching any summit in Zion Valley, such as ranger stations, will reveal all near nearby map markers and inspire a heightened sense of awareness, plus three perception for three minutes. Well then, let's get to trading. He's carrying stuff. I'll let him keep that, and I just want to talk to him. What can I tell you? Uh, tell me a little bit about this area. Any interesting wildlife? Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew. My guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. I'll see what I can do to help. I am a diplomat, after all. Yeah? Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. I'll try not to kill anything if I can. That's the point of this, uh... Playthrough. Though I have already killed two of the white legs because I had to get past them and there was no other option. But it was a last resort, I assure you. Anyway, what would you suggest I do instead? Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These big horners go crazy for the stuff. All right, I'll look into it. That's great. I'll help any way I can. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't done talking to you. I... What can I tell you? Uh, who were those tribals who attacked me? White legs, nasty bunch. They've been raiding deeper into Zion ever since New Canaan was wiped out. Wait, what? New Canaan was wiped out. How? That's what Joshua said. White legs came down from Great Salt Lake in force. Fell on New Canaan before they could mount a defense. Joshua found some of the survivors led by a man named Daniel. Most of them have fled the valley. 
but Daniel stayed on with the Saros tribe. He and Joshua have been arguing over whether to stand and fight the White Legs, or take the Saros and the dead horses out of the valley. Yeah, so Daniel and Joshua, they're both Mormons, and uh, they're, they're trying to convert these tribes to their religion, which they think they're doing the right thing, but... Uh, I don't know. They're they're destroying the their native culture in the process. So I I have some reservations about that, but I don't know if there's anything I can do as far as this DLC goes. What my options are to interfere with that? Uh, where do they come from? That's the weird part. Normally the White Legs keep to the Great Salt Lake. I don't know what brought them down this far south. Hmm. Probably, like, uh... Something to do with the Legion, perhaps. Uh, I want to know more about you. What can I tell you? Why are you called Follows Chalk? Our advanced scouts leave chalk signs to mark places rich with game. I'm not a full scout yet, so I follow the marks and guide the hunters. What are all those tattoos? Dead horses mark ourselves to commemorate our hunts. When a hunter takes a great beast, or when a youth goes on his first hunt, he gets a tattoo. Uh, tell me about your tribe. We came up in the land of the dead horse. Though, why the back when folks called it that, I got no hint. We raided. We fought. We lost. Our enemies drove us back into Zion, and we would have died if it hadn't been for Joshua. Joshua and his Kaisar. Wait, what about Kaisar? When Joshua first came to us, he was servant to a man he called Kaisar. He led his master's armies, and we were ready to follow him into war. Then he lost his master's army to a tribe called Ensiar, the Sunset People. When he returned, he was as you saw him. Burned. Broken. But changed. He led us away from Kaisar. Led us to our own destiny in Zion. What did Joshua do for you? If it wasn't for Joshua, the dead horses would still be the whipping boys of the Zion Valley. He taught us how to hold our territory. To protect ourselves, he guided us away from Kaisar, and showed us how Kaisar would have destroyed us. Well, I suppose that's something. Uh, their unique uh, culture and beliefs were going to be wiped out anyway when they were, if they were, end up assimilated by the Legion or in Yar. So, I don't know. It, it, they're kind of doomed either way, I guess. But, uh, anyway, what, what do you know about the new Canaanites? Little bit. I met some of their missionaries a few times, but I've never been to their city. Joshua could tell you more. Or Daniel, I imagine. What's with the shell casings in your club? We decorate our clubs with them to honor Joshua Graham. They were the weapons of his old tribe. So now, they are ours. Can't say they seem that dangerous to me. But Joshua says they... won the West. Yeah, the shell casings... aren't a weapon, per se. They are... the... Uh, leftover... container of the ammunition of the weapon. Uh, anyway, what do you remember anything about Joshua from before he became your leader? Only a little. I was very young. He was... different. Prouder, yes, but harder, crueler, more driven. Really, I was terrified of him. We all were. When he came back, 
I almost didn't believe he was the same man. He was humbler. He wanted to protect, not destroy. So, even before he became the burned man, he was guiding their tribe and, I guess, ultimately, uh, the goal was to assimilate them into the Legion. Just like uh, what happened with the Hang Dogs and uh, Ulysses' tribe and so on. But because Kaisar betrayed him and threw him to his death, he is now against the Legion and he's going to help and protect these people. That's my understanding anyway. Uh, why is it so important that we fight the White Legs? Well, because they're our enemies. What else would we do? They take our land, they kill our scouts, they poach our hunting grounds. Uh, I don't have any more questions. Let's talk about something else. Ask away. Uh, well, maybe that's it. I can tell him to leave, though, but... Tell me more about Joshua Graham. He's been the chief of our tribe since he came back to the valley. He went off to the civilized world years ago to fight a war. That didn't go well. The only recent war I know of is when Caesar's Legion attacked... I mean, Caesar's Legion attacked Hoover Dam. Is that where he fought? I don't know. He doesn't talk about it much. Maybe. But how can two civilized tribes fight over something as small as a dam? Well, you haven't seen... Have you ever seen Hoover Dam? It's bigger than some of these mountains. Ha! <laughs> really? That's... My gods. Must be some mighty civilized folks who built that. It was built in the... The, b the before time, or whatever you call it, hundreds of years ago. You'd be surprised what, quote, civilized tribes will fight over. <laughs> now you sound like Joshua. He always tells me that tribal life is better, that I should stay here and forget the outside world. Ask away. All right, I don't have anything else to say. Go with fortune, friend. Okay, and those... Ah! Oh, shit, there's... Hey, he was able to hit me from all the way over there. Well, I... I guess that answers that. Now, if we get up high, uh, we get, that activates his unique perk thing, but I don't know. I think we can get up there somehow, I'm not sure. We follow this path for a while. Nice view of the river. Eh. Okay, and these are, what are these, the chalk, he follows these sorts of chalk, uh, Drawings or something, he said. Please. Oh. Whew. That was some kind of lucky. Guess that one was all full of gecko, eh? <laughs> Don't get it's empty. used to it, though. Yao Gwai are plenty mean as a rule. Yeah, we don't have them back in the vanilla land. I guess I should try to heal myself up. Uh, I 
only got two rounds on this, so I should not waste it. Now this is it's probably this is probably like a faction kind of thing. So if I put this on it might cause some issues or something. But then again it might be useful at some point, so I don't want to get rid of it. I'll take this healing powder to heal up. Hopefully that will be good enough. You can take the path north here if you want. Or head east over the ridge. There's a nice view from the top of that cliff, if you want to look. North or east, he said. Okay, here is some chalk uh, drawings. I wish he had something to say about it, but apparently not. And I'm still at level one, I believe. I haven't gotten that much XP. Yeah, I'm at level one. I've only killed two. Uh, I think it says. That's under general, right? People killed. Yeah, two. I killed two uh, white legs. It's not what I wanted to do, but keep headed north around this rock pile. Nice view from up here. I don't see any enemies or anything. I hear them though. Legion, mo oh no, white leg mongrel. But it's similar to uh, what the Legion uses. I wonder if the Legion uh, told them to do that, to to uh, gave them these dogs. Follow the old road south. Nearly there. Alright. But before I do that, I wanted to explore a little bit. Oh, there's that Yalgwai. Looks like a dead bighorner. Well, we're gonna avoid fighting if we can 
help it. Playing on hardcore mode, so follows chalk could die, I guess. Is it possible to get up here? I'm not sure. Oh well, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go south like you said. It's been so long since I've played this. My gun skills abysmal, that's why I kept missing. So I wasn't much help in the fight, but I tried. I don't want anybody to die, but especially not the the good guys. If I if I do have to shoot some bad guys to save the good guys, I'll do it. Though I'd prefer not to have to shoot anybody. Okay, the road south is the way he said. Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come from, huh? Well, you don't know about death claws. Oh, Ooh, that's funny. You see the dead sentries? Shamans say our enemy's souls are trapped in them. But Joshua says it shows we're serious it's about fighting white legs. The dead sentries. You mean these heads on pikes? Those are white legs that you've killed, huh? I can't really hear anything. See those handprints? Dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places. Places from back when. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that stuff. Yeah, Joshua Graham probably taught you it's all superstition. And we probably never will be able to because, I don't know. Is there anything here? Like well, the shadow of a ghost. Well, there's some ammo and a hat. And some first aid. That's it. Yeah, nothing, nothing really interesting here. But I got a hat anyway. Give some serv. This would be useful, actually. All right. Extra perception. All right, let's go. Hang on, you're going the wrong way. I am. You 
you said to go south, didn't you? Oh, we're supposed to go over there, right? Okay. Down this path to the north. Hope you don't mind getting wet. Now, if I remember correctly, I think there's some traps uh, set in the water, like bear traps and stuff. I can't hear anything. This all has weight, so I'm gonna leave it. These paintings show the dead horses' victories against other tribes. Lots more of them since Joshua came to us. Oh, there's fish in the water. And the, there's no rats. Oh, that's nice. And there's antler. Cave fungus. I think there's a lot of that in this... Uh, I'll see if I remember correctly. Oh, I can make some healing powder. Nice. Okay. Nearly there now. Watch out for traps in the water. Got to keep the white legs out somehow, eh? Yeah. I see one right here. Now this, I think this is the longest I've ever gone without hitting level 2. There was no XP dump at the start, like you might think. So, yeah, that's a thing to consider. Are there any other traps? Yes, right here. Now, had I gone that other way, I, I think there's... It. That red dot is some sort of enemy or something. But we should be safe this way. A nice thing about this DLC is there's a lot of um, throwing weapons. Tomahawks, spears, etc. Downside is that has weight, which we really. Oh, my strength is only 60. Because I ate that raw meat, that's why. Sorry, I got. I'm gonna have to have you carry some of this. Well, then, let's get to trading. You would probably drop that. Carry this raw meat, I guess. And, uh, that, and... 
Yeah, these stim packs. If it'll help you keep... If it will help keep you alive. Uh, take these 308 rounds, I guess. And that. And... That. Okay. Now, eventually, my... The raw meat will wear off, and I'll be able to carry more of it for now. Hey, what's this? Finally, our le first level up. Oh, okay, I thought... I thought I'd be getting more skill points than this because I had high intelligence, but this isn't Fallout 3 and things are a little bit more balanced, so... Wow. Only 12 guns. Hmm. Well, I'm going to put a few points into that. And lockpick because we're probably going to need it. Well, no, i got to be careful because... I'm just not going to have a lot of, you know, points to, to... I'm going to set things at, like, numbers where a lot of checks would happen. Like, 45, for example. If I had it here, I would have been able to do quite a few at the start, but I couldn't. And I'll put that up to 45, put this up to 20... It, wow, only two melee. That's abysmally low. But I am a diplomat after all, so it makes sense. Okay, I think this is pretty reasonable the way I said it. And for the first perk, Swift Learner would be nice because I want to level up, but this DLC is pretty short, so I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Lady Killer. Well, because I'm using the, the Jay Sawyer mod, it gives plus 15 damage against female opponents instead of plus 10. And the reason why is because there's far fewer female opponents. So that mod increased it a little bit to try to balance it out compared to this one. This, I think almost everybody we fight is going to be male, but like I said, I'm not going to, I'm trying to be non-violent, damn it. So, I'll just go for my... usual choice, which is intense training. And since I'm really needing strength right now, I will put one point into that. Okay, this cave, uh, I guess we might as well check it out real quick. I'm surprised that there can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. I'm surprised that this trap hasn't been triggered yet. Especially now that um, Joshua Graham is teaching them that it's all superstition to go into these places. So you'd think that over 200 years somebody would have gone in and gotten blasted. Wow, there's two of them. Oh. 
And that's the reason these uh, superstitions started, is because... Like the shadow of a ghost. Well, I think that the... The old man in the cave, as they... believe, warned him not to go into the caves. But beyond that, there's these traps, so... If people go into the caves, and they never come out... Then it's gonna reinforce that... Belief that... There's, you know, something supernatural or some reason not to go in there. But it's a good way to get some XP anyway. If only I had the repair to uh, recharge your pistol. Now this guy isn't the survivalist, the old man in the cave. I don't I don't not sure who that is actually. Well then, let's get to trading. Yeah, these will be good to trade to somebody once we find a merchant. that the way we came? I'm not sure. Why do you carry all those bottle caps anyway? They jangle like crazy. Oh, come on. I, I saw it and I was trying to disarm it. But my... Alright, let's, uh... There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip... We'll come back there later. When I get, like... my When my repair is a little bit higher, I guess. I can disarm those shotguns. Let's go talk to Graham. Here we are. Joshua's just ahead there, in the Angel Cave. I can't talk. This is that, uh, Big Horner quest. This one, it's kind of tricky to do it, as I understand. I will try, though. That's one of the, uh, the wild wasteland things. Okay, what Angel Cave? That's where we will talk to Joshua Graham. But I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here because uh, I think there's a lot of dialogue to go over with him. He's got a lot of guns to clean, you know. He's gonna so. I'll, wait. I'll do that in the next episode, but at least we got this far. We, did, we didn't get a lot done, but oh well. Just getting here, that's half the battle, I guess. 
At least we leveled up once, anyway. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching.